Welcome to Chat With Me, where we bring in five diverse individuals to talk about very important topics. And our very important topic today is the real life of stand-up comedians. So I have brought to you five very funny, very wild and crazy guys and gal. <laughs> Would you mind introducing yourself? Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Heather Shaw. I'm a female comic. That's yeah. questionable. Is that okay. a thing? Yeah, that's oh. a thing. We do oh. comedy. <laughs> we're not as funny, but we're there. I like how she sounded okay. not sure. <laughs> <laughs> they can do that? Yeah. That's my intro. Yeah. That was nice. You just female apologized comic. for like every female comic. <laughs> that, was, that was good. We accept. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Mike Hurley, and uh, I'm a traveling road comic. I've been a road comic since uh, 2010. Wow, awesome. Hi, uh, my name is James Yan. Um, I'm a stand-up comedian. I have my own talk show and my own radio show. Your talk show? I'm going to ask you about that, but I'm, hold I'm up, because this is just introduction. Okay, Don't get into the meat yet. Right. Hold up. Do your thing. We're all stand-up comedians. That's why we're here. Uh, my name is Dwayne Williams. I've been doing comedy for about a year and a half. Uh, born and raised in Louisiana, been here seven years. Okay, settle down. Love it. Right. Love it's it. Not Love it. Not Oprah. Hush. How much did you wait for? What is this, your Match.com profile? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> Black People Meet. Long walk. Black right. People Meet. Right. Com. Let's go, Ken. And I'm Ken Miller. Um, I've been doing comedy now for 12 years. I'm originally from North Carolina, live in Orlando now, and I'm like Mike. I'm a road comic as well. I'm probably on the road about 40 weekends out of the year. Mine. Well, that's why I said my wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So what in the world just made you decide one day, like, hey, I think I'll be a comedian. Like, what? Wait, were you a class clown first? Yeah. And then... Yep. That's the one common thing, I think. We have low self-esteem. Yeah, we do. <laughs> low self-esteem and need always attention. trying to get people to make, like, laugh and stuff when we're in school, class clowns. I think we all were that. Yeah, uh, I, when I was in 10th uh, grade, my biology project was 10 minutes of stand-up comedy. Mm. Biology. It was, it was awful. Well, biology. It, yeah, it was, it <laughs> yeah. was awful. That's but weird. I was like, I didn't do a project. My teacher's like, okay, cool. Give me 10 minutes Give to stand up. Minutes. And I just talked about how my mama whooped us <laughs> and how my best friend Corey was fat. Like so, so they felt <laughs> sorry for you and you probably yeah. got an A. Yeah, I got an A. Yeah. Well, you got to so, do yeah, what you got to do. I was different. I wasn't the class clown. I was really? like the quiet kid who was too shy and I sat back and watched everything. And like school then, shooter shy? So that's yeah, what I was like thinking. Like, so they're on the news, like the neighbors are like, yeah, yeah, right. Like, yeah. Watch out for like either he gonna be funny or he gonna massacre a bunch yeah. of people. Yeah, yeah. Parents have a gun. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad we went this way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Going. Aren't you glad you said that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm off the watch list. Yeah. Class clown. That's all it was. Yeah. Got through my work. Uh, most of the time for all the other kids, so I ain't had nothing else to do but climb. And he oh, had yeah. to be funny because yeah. he ain't got no hairline. He really no. doesn't. Look at that. I have a hairline. <laughs> I have a hairline, all right? <laughs> I have a hairline. You just started a year and a half ago. Uh -huh. It's got to be different from you than starting, you so, know, 10 years or plus. Yeah, I actually first started in 2012. I did two open mics that November. Hard, that's more than a year and a half ago. I know, but I'm saying oh, I, 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 I stopped after that. I was like, uh -huh. I, I did okay, but I was so scared of failing that I. I stopped for all of those years. And, and we appreciate that. Yeah. And, and then. Yeah. That's had, come on, that's had to come up with all of you at some point, like that fear of failure or just. Yeah, I oh, tried oh, coming no. when I was 19. Oh, yeah. And uh, I got up and I was bombing so bad, I ended up doing Chris Tucker's Def Jam. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> was, I was bombing so bad, I did somebody else set. Then I didn't do comedy again for 10 years. Damn, that's really? What? Yeah. 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 I just started right yesterday and it's like fun. <laughs> 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 I like it. How long ago did you really start? I think uh, four years. Four years. Years ago. Four years, yeah. Yep. So what what do you think is the most challenging part about it? Being funny. No. No, you guys are pretty funny. Yeah, keep, funny. Keep working at it. Just yeah. keep working at it. Yeah, Coming up with new material. I, I think the most challenging part right now for us because we're not famous is to get just to get people to support. Yeah. To come that's out that's the yeah. show. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Like your yeah. people come to the show and see us, but oh my God, you were so funny. Why haven't I heard of you? I said because you guys will come out and support some dude you see on the internet you before you support some local. Yeah, that's that's right. how we met because I came to see Preacher. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I will tell you what, sorry, Preacher. I was like, I, we got in the car and I was like, is that how I works? really think you Ken was funnier. Preacher, so you got Ken? Ken's No, married. this is a true story. Gotcha. And the reason why I think that is because I had seen all of the episodes that Preacher was on, so I had already seen a lot of right. the bit. Well, he'll tell you that. We'll have shows and afterwards people will be like, oh my God, you are so much funnier than Preacher. And he'll turn around and say, but I made more money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Preacher has me programmed on his phone as funniest man on the planet. So when I call him, it pops up. But but to me, this is my thing. I think getting people to support live yeah. and local comedy 
or coming to see a comedian that you've never seen before, you know, mm -hmm. instead of seeing a comedian you see on TV all the time. That's an excellent point. I think point. to me, that's my biggest challenge. PSA for the family day. Too, because friends and family started supporting us when we started so many years ago. They're like, yeah, I'll come see you, but now we can't do that. And We've we been give away tickets. We can't give away uh, tickets. My mama yeah. won't come see me now. <laughs> And she lived with me. Like that's <laughs> yeah. You can't even give her a ride. No, like, like she won't mom, get in the car. I get in the car. No. no. I right, Uber, baby. baby. Yeah, I Uber. Right. <laughs> it's so true. Like going to see somebody, you 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 buy tickets, you purchase for people you know, but then when you don't know a name, you're you're hesitant. But I think that that's an excellent point. Notoriety. If you yes. have a little bit of notoriety, people will kill themselves to get a ticket. Yeah. They'll pay yeah. 20 bucks to come. Now your family, you're saying was supportive, but was that the case for everybody? I can't imagine like walking and be like, hey mom, I'm gonna be a comedian and being like, yeah. 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 I, look, I was going, when I was 18, I was going to New York. I said, when I graduate high school, I'm going to New York, I'm going to be a comic. My mama said, no, you're not. You're going to the Army. And I said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> gotcha. And I ended up going to the Army instead of going to, to do what I always, I only wanted to be a comedian. Yeah. Really? I, that's, I never want to do anything. Did else. you make like the people in the army laugh? Like, were you with? Yeah, your... yeah. That's why I never got in trouble. I, man, I should have been court martialed for so much. <laughs> 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 I was an awful, I was an awful soldier, bro. Yeah. I should have been court martialed. But I was, I was just a funny, likable dude. Um, and and I, it, it took me good places. I got to work in the White House for five years. Travel with What's that? the president. Um, I, <laughs> I put Clinton, Clinton and Bush, Clinton right. and Bush. This is like this is like ninety nine oh four. So this is um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Get it? I didn't tell nobody. I didn't tell my. You mom. didn't tell anyone? Probably not no. tell anybody. Yeah, yeah. Have no. you told anyone yet? I mean, well, well, when I was younger, you said, well, you know, I didn't, I didn't tell nobody. That's what I wanted to do because all my other dreams got shot down. Only thing really enforced in my family was education, going to school. So I played sports. And, and that's not important. It. Yeah, and, and you a lie. And then uh, I, I was in a band, and that's the only thing I stayed with, playing the trumpet. Nerd. But, oh, okay. Yeah, so, but comedy, I kept that to myself. So what changed a year and a half ago where you were like, this is it, I'm going for Man, it? Man, something in my mind just clicked. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, I, I just was, I, was I, work at, I, I work in entertainment now at, at the theme park, the Universal and stuff. So um, just being there and seeing all my friends doing all the entertainment yeah. stuff, I'm like, bro, what are you doing? You're supposed to be doing comedy. What are you doing? And last year it just clicked. I'm like, yo, I went back to the open mic and ain't stopped since. It's a drug. It's a drug. It's a drug. I mean, actually, cocaine is a drug. Yeah. Comedy, <laughs> shit, something you just like to do. It's a drug. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is a drug. Yeah, it really is to, one of the most to, incredible things. We don't make it. Yeah, me too. I bet you you did hit a line. And I think that's that's a thing. Like, if, if for any anybody that's single out there, I think we. Not we. I'm not single. Sorry, honey. You aren't. Um, <laughs> sorry, Heather. I'm okay, not single. Okay. Interview, interview over. Interview let's over, go. Yeah, we thought. Yeah. But um, I think that one of the best traits in a human being is their sense of humor. And if you don't have a sense of humor, then you should just you ugly. You I don't die. know. Yeah. <laughs> if I didn't have a sense of humor, I would never have she sex. Said, you ain't got a sense of humor. My wife yeah. does not like me because <laughs> I'm beautiful. Because, no, ooh. I make her laugh. You make her laugh. So she doesn't notice all this. Yeah, I've so, never dude. gotten a woman off of looks. I'm, I'm oh. cosmetically challenged. Yeah, I thought head head. you were going to say yeah. I never got a woman off. Yeah. And I was like, oh, well. Yeah. Off of looks. That's yeah, let him finish his sentence, Heather. That's 100% true. I tell you all the time, people see my wife, uh, my wife is Miss Gorgeous. Atlanta. Yeah. So people see my wife, they be like, how you pull that off? I say, it gotta be the comedy. Yeah, bro. Gotta be the comedy. It can't be anything mm -hmm. else. You see my, what my yeah. body look like, Dwayne. Your body awful. Awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mike, what do you think of his body? Oh, no, no, I don't tell me. I don't know why he went to Dwayne. Because he always, every time I see him, he's like, yo, your body awful. I'm like, I hate but I'm, I'm eating better. Yeah. All that. Yeah, I do but, Wait a minute, what do you yeah, mean he's got the same size breasts, bro. He really do. Feels good. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> How about you, hon? How's comedy been for you? Oh, uh, comedy's uh, treated me pretty well, actually. I, I lucked out because you were talking about, you know, how your family feels about it. I'm the middle of three boys, so automatically there wasn't much hope for me. Like, they just, no one, I had Little no. child, you got forgotten. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I was left alone to do whatever I wanted. And uh, actually, uh, both my brothers uh, live at home with my parents right now. So I'm the comedian and I don't live at home. And my dad's like, you know what? I had three boys. I wanted you to be doctors. I wanted you to be lawyers. You don't call me looking for money. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> so that's it. True. Like, well, but you true. said you're on the road like most of the time. I am, which is the only reason I'm able to have two children. Because if I had to spend all the time at home, I would you not would have never, children. Wouldn't have yeah. children. And I would say this, uh, Mike is one of the best comedy writers in the game. Yeah. I, I, I Hands down. And you guys all write your own stuff. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I steal. I think that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, 
Ben's already told us he yeah. does that in a Can I just say you have done leaps and bounds for female comedians? Yeah, you have. Yeah, like, I'm a female comic. I'm sorry. And uh, by the way, I steal. I take Paula Poundstone's bits and just run with them. Paula so, Paula Poundstone. <laughs> for you, um, anyone oh, under the age of 40, um, yeah. she was a female comedian. Right. Dwayne's like, I don't know who she that still is. still is, I believe. Yeah. I think I'm she's still kidding. alive. This is crazy. crazy. So, um, being on the road, does that give you new energy? Like, being in different clubs and being at different places? It, it's, it's funny, because I joke about my kids a lot, but truthfully speaking, I'm, I have now in my career the career I wanted when I was like Dwayne's age. Like, when you're mm. in your early 20s, you want to be on the road, you're dreaming of traveling and everything. But now, if I got to get on Frontier Airlines uh, one more time, yeah. <laughs> I think Frontier Airlines Ooh. just bought all the movie theater seats from when the movie Bruh, I'm <laughs> trying to, It's all that plastic. Uh, it's still got gum under it. It's like, sitting on, a, yo, it's like <laughs> sitting on a lawn chair. I'm like, yo, yo, yes, yes, right? <laughs> I'm like, yo, this is the worst, bro. Hold on, how the bad opinions is Spirit? Of oh, Spirit is the worst. Are not the opinions yeah, of our show. show. This show is sponsored by Frontier. The show is sponsored yeah, by Yeah, you got to come. All right, is it Frontier? But yeah, I'm with Mike, so yeah, because as a parent, I'm a parent as well. Well, and um, you want to be on the road, then you get on the road like, man, I'm ready to go home. Yep. Uh, like, I can't yeah. sleep in hotel rooms anymore. Like, I have to take an Ambien now. Like, I just, I don't but you know. Can yeah. use the, sorry, but you can use the same material when you're going to different places. Yeah. But you, well, I mean, you uh, perform at the same place pretty frequently. Yeah, I'm going to improv a lot, but then I, I love being on the road. Like, you know, I'm, I'm about to head out next week to Arlington, Texas. I was just in Illinois at Donnie B's, an amazing club. And it's, it's great to go meet new people, get new fans. Yeah. But when I walk in my door and see my family, I'm happier than I am when and I'm And we'll home. actually drive, if it's less than four hours, to get home. We'll go home that night. Yeah, I go home. We'll, yeah, I leave we'll go home. It'll be yeah. 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I'm like, man, I'm going home. Just sleep in our own bed. And the I'm club gonna... owner will be like, James, we got your hotel. I'm like, yeah. You I'd rather go good. sleep in my bed with one, my one wife. One of your bartenders yeah. can have hotel. Yeah, there you go. I'm yeah. going home. I will tell you this, though. It's kind of tough because uh, my oldest son is eight, and he's been pretty much aware of what I do for a living since he was like three or four. He's like, oh, my daddy tells jokes. And his mother is college, graduate, well-educated, everything else. So now he's coming home with all this homework. And he's like, I don't want to do my homework. And she's like, well, you're going to need it. And he's like, Daddy yeah, doesn't do math at his job. And I'm like, he's yeah. got a point. But you know, I'm like. You still have to add up the. Uh, well, yeah, that's a thing, too. Ad, because yeah, she's, a, she's, a, she's a stay-at-home mom. So she's the <laughs> one who went and did the right path, got the degree, everything else, and could go get the great paying, you know, business type yeah. job. And instead, I'm the one out there just telling yeah. penis jokes this weekend do for money. Do you make enough money off being a comedian? Or no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. See, I'm trying to tell y'all I'm funny, no. too. So you must be millionaires. We all have hustles. We all have, we all have different hustles. Every last one of us have a day I have job. No, Mike jobs. doesn't have a day job, do you? you have four job? jobs? I got, for real, I got four jobs. I got four, too. But they're yeah. all they're all We're like all comedy same. related. Comedy related. Not no, no, I'm yeah, an engineer. Yeah. Right. But, well, all right. Well, how'd y'all have time to show up here for me today? This is. <laughs> She's like, please yeah. don't talk to me. But they all have to do a comedy, and we all love what we do. But mm -hmm. at our stage, where we're yeah, not it's, famous, it's yeah. no you money. have to do something. No, yeah. So how often do you have to rewrite your jokes? Like, do you have to come up with a new set all the time? Or no, Mike, I mean, Mike writes every day. Yeah, really. Mike, I've been doing the same yeah. set yeah. about three years. Because I'll write all year and get one. I think what's going on in the world right now lends itself to to being. You would. That's dangerous. We're not talking about it, but I'm just saying. What's going on? No, no. What's going on, Heather? Yeah. Um, there are vegans in the world. Oh, <laughs> man. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> do you, have, do you add that into your set, being what? a vegan? No, I don't. I should, though. Actually, you really don't. should. I don't talk about being vegan. That is true. I've never heard you say anything about being a vegan. Tell me a little bit about being a female comedian and how you got started and what it's like for you. Um, I got started, actually, my first open mic was with uh, Preacher Hosting which is really cool at the Why Not Lounge. I didn't get to experience that that much, but he was there. Why Not Lounge. The Why Not Lounge. It's shut down. Um, yeah, I really like it. Um, there's, it's, I, don't, I don't find it difficult to be a female in comedy, honestly. But I think that's because a lot of people look at me like one of the guys. Because I'm gay. <clears throat> Um, what? Yeah, I know, guys. I'm coming out with it, Mom. Here? Today? Yeah, I'm, uh, I like the <laughs> vagina. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, this show segment. I'm not saying that. Yeah, I don't find it that difficult, but I, I have heard from, like, more straight women in comedy that it's, 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 it's more, difficult. more difficult for them. They get hit on a lot. I see that a lot where I'm like, oh, boy. Anytime a new uh, female starts in comedy, it's like, you know, yeah, like, that's, sharks I, on. That's oh. usually the advice we give new comics. Yeah. Like, hey, it's like, Stop as much as it's fun, girl. don't date your coworkers. Yeah. You know? yeah, too. Because so I, what's going to happen yeah. is either you're going to get more famous or she's going to get more famous, and either way, it's going to cost some money. Luckily, there's not. 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 Luckily,
Aw, look funny. at that. Thanks. Heather's that funny. That's so not what the cue cards. Heather also would check you. <laughs> yeah, Heather will check, check you. Yeah. yeah. So She'll Heather, you probably won't put up with that crap. So you I no, 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 no. no. A lot around. of people think I'm a bitch, but it's because I'm just not. Gonna... So where does your material come from? Like, how do you? It's not. I'm not like a storyteller. Like Ken's a f really, really funny. Like he can do like long story bits. I'm more like um, really goofy, one-liner, odd, weird. Kind of stuff. It's not true. Yeah, nothing I down? say is true. Like um, from personal experience, it's all just goofy stuff that I say. I mean, I do talk about having like no boobs. That's true, as you can tell. <laughs> hey, we I got basically say I have. Me and Heather more. got the same boobs. So I'm up bro. here. <laughs> I want a shirt that says that. Like I'm up here. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna make you one. <laughs> Please do. I'm gonna make you one. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like jokes about that. Like I have two backs. <clears throat> um, Damn. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> I do have nipples, though. So. Well, the, uh, but yeah, most of my jokes are just goofy and, and, and silly. And did what you else? already always know that you wanted to be? Yeah, yeah, I've always wanted to do comedy. It's, yeah. it's the only thing I really enjoy doing. As much as we say, you know, we have problems getting people out to the show because we're not famous, the nice thing about not being famous is exactly what you're pointing out. Once you put that 45 minute set on Netflix or HBO. It's done. Now all of a sudden, audience come out to see you because they know you, but they want to hear stuff like different. Like you said. Whereas, exactly. whereas a lot of my says the same 45 I've been doing for the past six, seven years, but you're traveling Shit. from town to town, so people, it's new to them. Yeah. You know? wow. So as soon as you put that on TV or a CD or a DVD yeah. or you know MP3 or yeah, whatever Netflix, you nowadays, yeah. it's burnt. You yeah. got to come up with new it's stuff. It's funny because like all five of you panicked when I mentioned what's going on in the world today. We're not going to talk about it, but do you have to be very careful when you write your jokes to not talk about politics yes religion, yeah. let me tell you we're, we're in Florida right now and I was in Sanford and it was 2015 and at one point you can make all the Trump jokes you want and everybody thought it was hilarious but I went back to Sanford in 2016 and somebody made a Trump joke and I told people don't do it anymore I've I saw the change when they mentioned Donald Trump people clapped and applauded and they were not laughing at all so for us, it's very dangerous to, to yes. use material. Did yeah. tell me no politics. No politics. Yes. I mean, it makes no sense. I don't have any in my set. No, no. not at all. Once and I again, it, it comes down to this is where fame factors in. Like, if you're more famous and people are coming out to the show to see you, they want to hear, you know, Bill Burr's viewpoints on things. They know what to expect from him. That's what they want to hear. Yeah. Whereas, if you're playing the rooms that most of us play, most of the time people aren't coming out to see us. It's nope. the they comedy club laugh. in the town on the Friday okay. or Saturday. Okay. Right. So they're coming out just rolling so the dice on who's going to be there. So if they come in and you're doing, you know, anti-Trump or pro-Trump, you've already alienated half that audience and you don't have the luxury of knowing they were there for you. They're yeah. just like, that unknown person said something I don't like. Plus, the other thing I find with politics nowadays is at least when Bush was president, you it's know, funny. You could you can make little Bushisms and people would laugh because they're like, oh, we get it. He sounds like that, but he right. would never say that. I've yet to come up with something that I made up that Trump said that someone in the audience doesn't automatically start defending. Like, well, here's why he said it. I'm like, right. whoa, no, I made that up. Real. I thought that was crazy. You but can't tell if it's yeah. made up. You know? Yeah, so, so I can insane. see how difficult that could be. So let me ask you a little bit of a serious question. I'm sorry. I know we're not really we can't serious. Do that. You can't do no. that. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. Trust me. Okay. I got you. I got Thank you. you. So there's there's been a stigma for many years, um, especially in the wake of like Robin Williams and stuff like that, that that comedians in real life are either depressed or have had a difficult time, and, and that's why they use laughter. Is that something? Well, I will say that comedians yeah. do comedy, and we're not okay. Meaning, no one does this job because they're fine emotionally. We're no one gets up to do stand up. Yeah. I'm seeing the therapist now. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. It's, it's real. Oh, yeah. I've been through mass. So we got to hurry it up because you're going to be late. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm 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 therapeutic. Yeah, I mean, we do it for yeah. a reason. Wow. And, and I grew up, rough, I'm number eight of 11 kids. You know, Ew. I grew up in a home where go. my mom was emotionally abusive, physically earlier. Because in the, in the black culture, getting, giving the ass whooping is what. That's what you do. No, it's not. It shouldn't be what you do. And you grow up and it kind of messes with you. So in my, in my life now, I realize the way I talk to people or how I act with people, it was how I was raised. Yeah. And it's not the right way to be with people. Yeah. So I just think it was time for me to go sit. I ain't going to cry. To go sit on the you couch and talk to somebody. You, you know what I mean? So I just started saying, just, just to talk and get things out. I don't think it changes me as a comic. You know what I mean? I don't think all comedy comes from a dark place. A lot of people think that. A comedy comes from a dark place. Some comes from a grace. I do a lot of jokes about being a dad. And being a dad isn't a dark place. Now I would do some jokes about going through a divorce. That's a dark place. Yeah. You know what I mean? So not all comedy comes from a dark place. But for me, you know, it's therapeutic. Like you said, it's, it it's a good thing. I think it does come from some, some type of pain. Yeah. 
I do right. think it's something. Yeah, yeah. everyone agrees. Yeah. Heather, you yeah. feel? Well, yeah, I, well, you kind of got to be crazy to do this. You yeah, have to you be. Know? A lot of people are like, I would never do that. You to know? get it's in like, front of a stable. group of people that yeah. don't know who you are. Like, Just to get up and be like. Strangers laugh. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. We're all. People, so like the people in the crowd, they go through the same things that we go through. So it's just like we're showing them, hey, I know what you're going through was rough and is rough, but you can laugh at you're it. You're just taking it, yeah. And turning yeah, it you can laugh. Yeah, at we it. can. Like, yeah, if I could do it, you could do it. Let's laugh at this together. Let's laugh at. And that's our job to make people laugh about stuff yeah. we normally don't laugh. <laughs> yeah. About, in a way that doesn't offend anybody, but it entertains. Yeah. And that's the, I think that's some stuff I like people. offending. No, some stuff offends. <laughs> I, I haven't yet to do it, yeah. but some stuff. I, I think I think everybody here. I know Ken's. We've had these talks before. There's shows you go up and do, and afterwards you're selling your merch or you're shaking hands after the show. And the reason comics stick around after the show is because we need that little handshake and Validation. that pat on the back. Aww. But do do? every once that in a while, you'll get, I remember this happened to me in, uh, I was up in Boise, and some woman came up to me after the show, and I had done a whole bunch of jokes about my kids, and one of the jokes I do is about how much I don't like my second born and everything else, and blah, blah, blah. And uh, this woman comes up to me after the show and she just, she's like, can I just say thank you so much? I'm like, why? She's like, my husband and I, we lost our five-year-old last year and this is our first night coming out. And automatically I'm just thinking, all I did was talk crap about my living kids for like an hour. My and living she's kids. Like, I just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and she's like, no, she's like, just some of your stories, like so much brought back some of our memories of, you know, our, her and everything else. That. And this was our first night actually getting out and laughing in a long time. And I'm just like, Jesus. And you don't think that. You think, oh, I'm just doing this gig in Boise. And then after the show, it meant so much more to someone in the audience. Or are you doing a joke about when you were a kid growing up and one guy comes out and he's like, dude, my parents were the same way. Mm -hmm. uh, like, I always think that as comedy, some of our job is just saying things on stage that people thought they were alone in. You know, and you say it on stage and all that familiarity, that universalness. That's why I talk a lot about queefs. You know? Yeah. Exactly. We were killing him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that's a wrap. <laughs> No, that's You're the one who wanted a female comic I on the show. I wanted the female yeah. comic. Yeah. Oh, you like, had the same experience? Well, a similar like after to show. where somebody came up to you. Yeah, but like, you know, man, I, I, I needed that. I was having a bad week or I had a bad day, you know, to a lesser degree of what Mike was saying, but it, it feels great when you get that. And I make them do that. If, if, we, if you're on a show with me and it's over, I say, I go, let's go out here and thank everybody. Because they, they could have been, they been nice. anywhere. I learned that from Mike Hurley, being on the road with him. And I started doing it in my show where I tell everybody, after the show, can you do me a favor? Can you just let me shake your hand and say thank you? Yeah. I did. Walk out. I learned that from Mike. Thank I mean, I, everybody, I, I, yeah. after every show, if you're on yeah. the show with me, I'm like, all right, y'all, let's get our ass out here and shake these hands That's right. and kiss these babies. Thank them for being there. <laughs> you guys or shake have the baby. to know. Or shake the baby and kiss the hand. <laughs> you have to know whether you've been doing this for a year and a half or for 10 years or forever long, whether you're on the road or on, on the stage. You guys are making a difference, truly, because for me to be able to take those few minutes, and when I came to your show, I, I was feeling that energy for a good couple of days. Where was it at? Improv? Um, improv. It was, yeah, improv. And he's back for um, New Year's again this year. So oh, really is quick, it? we're going to have to wrap things up, but if you can tell me really quick where we can find you. Yeah. Um, um, anywhere on social media, you can find me at Heather's MySpace. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, you can find me on anything social media, Mike Hurley, Mike with a Y. Okay. Same thing. Anything on social media, James. You have a Young. show. What's your show? I do, it's called The Lowdown with James Young. Okay. It is on Sling TV and it's not on the download. Afro <laughs> Not the download. That's a completely different show <laughs> that Dwayne hosts from his. <laughs> so <laughs> this couch, I mean, I'll tell you what. This couch is going low hold on a second, James. I invited you to my show. Yes. Can I get an invitation to your show? I would love to have Because we're on camera. Y'all hear this? Yeah, Everybody yeah, hear yeah. this? I'll talk to the camera. <laughs> All right, <laughs> camera, listen. So everybody everybody talk, just being you laughing at that? Okay. The Lowdown with James Young. Woo! Yeah. Dwayne, where can we find you, hon? I'm on Facebook, Dwayne Facebook? Williams, and that's D-E-W-A-Y-N. We'll type it out for you. I don't know where the E come from. It's going to come up right under you. And uh, Instagram, <laughs> um, Dwayne underscore Williams 318. That's Perfect. the Instagram right now. Thank it's so you. hard. Because yeah. Dwayne simple. Williams was taken, man. Like, I tried to be, keep it simple, but I had to put the area code. All right, <laughs> All right Ken, where can we find you? Yo, <laughs> What's you wrong? can find me. <laughs> hit his area code. Jesus, you can find me on Facebook, Ken Miller. Um, Facebook fan page, Ken Miller Dash Comedian. Instagram, Ken Miller 30, 30, the number 30, and Ken Miller 30 on Twitter. I tell people all this, follow me. I will follow you back. I'm not that famous. That's how we <laughs> say it. That's how we say it. <laughs> where, where does the 30 come from? 30 was my high school basketball number. It's so many Ken Millers out there, I couldn't just get <laughs> Ken Millers. So so all so. right, thank you guys so much. Thank, thank you. you. It's, been a it's been awesome. Everybody, thanks for watching. Make sure you take care of yourselves and do not nice. forget to take care of each other.